when I first got hired on at my job, I was hired on as an intern, and um, it was a very steep learning curve for me because I had built some projects on my own and had kind of big uh, source code and large uh, data sets and things like that. And the applications worked, and it got me my job. Um, but I think that they were a little misled by my skills and abilities when I first started, and I think I was too. And the reason that this happens is because uh, you go and you learn uh, the basics of, of languages. So you learn PHP and what's an if-else statement, what's a loop, and you think about how to put these things together, and you end up with this source code that's just these huge files of code and code and code, and it makes it very difficult to go back and edit those files and remember how you did things. And more, and, more than that, it's like you know how to, it works, and you know how... Um, these these the codes laid out but if you had someone else that needed to help you with the project uh, it was next to impossible and that caused a big problem for me because when I came into a new place and worked on source code that I hadn't written um, they had it organized in a way that I'd never seen before they were using a PHP framework that I had never heard of and I, I honestly never used a framework by the time I started so I was very slow to get into production and start uh, writing code that was usable and uh, it it almost made me give up I almost wanted to stop my uh, internship because I didn't think I was ready and so I decided to make this series uh, um, on what is an MVC framework and more importantly let's just build one uh, we're not going to build the best greatest framework out there I promise you that um, I don't even have the skills to do that, and I have no desire to do that. There are some great ones out there, uh, Laravel, CodeIgniter, uh, Falcon, just to name a few. Uh, if you're into Ruby, you know there's obviously Ruby, Ruby on Rails, uh, great framework. Um, but I wanted to make this so that we could learn how to organize our code in more of a way uh, that it's going to be in the real world, so that when you go and get a job somewhere, you can work with other developers and work together uh, without spending as much time and effort and energy as I had to uh, to learn to code in that way.